What's the wildest cheating story you've witnessed or happened to you? My ex-wife pretended to be admitted to a mental health ward for long-term treatment while actually staying with her new man and cheating on me. I was 32. She was cheating on me with her ex for like six months before I found out. The way I found out was she called me crying hysterically, saying she killed him. By accidentally running him over, I get all her belongings from the police and find all the evidence on her laptop with them screwing. An argument over me was what caused the running over. Police ruled it accidental and she brags about it in bars to this day. She also ended up having a kid with a guy that had the same name as me and spells it exactly the same too. Edit. The way she ran him over was interesting too. Purposely at first, but he was alive under the tire and she had a sudden change of heart. She jacked the car up using the car jack, but it slipped as she was attempting to pull him out. It was raining and the car tire then crushed his ribcage and lungs, finishing him off. So technically, he got ran over twice in the same night had a co-worker who cheated on her live-in boyfriend. She would tell him she was going for a run, put on her shorts without underwear, and would be intimate with her side piece in the apartment parking lot. So then she would come back inside sweaty 30 minutes later and needed to shower. And it all made sense to her boyfriend. He never questioned it. She was an awful human. I was engaged to my fiancé and looking forward to marrying him. Thought things were going well. One night while sleeping over at his place, I get up to use the restroom at night and hear his phone go off. It was plugged in there to charge. I usually respect his privacy, but I thought it was weird for him to get a text at this hour. So I went over to see what it was. I find this whole conversation between him and this other woman, obviously romantic, and they're talking about me even, and he's throwing me under the bus. Her, you're still dating that zookeeper. I'm a zookeeper. Him, yeah, she smells like one too. I was pretty upset. I don't know if he's just trying to throw me under the bus to her, to make her think that he wants to really be with her instead, or if that's real. I know I must stink horribly a lot from work. It's next to impossible to work with otters and penguins and smell good, but I try really hard to stay clean. I knew it was over, but I thought, well, if he says I stink despite all my efforts, I'll show him stink. When he went out of town for the weekend, I secretly got all my stuff out of his place. Over my next few shifts at the zoo, I secretly collected as much otter dung as I could, snuck over to the big cat waste dumpster for a few trash bags full of uneaten meat and lion crap too, the real serious stuff. I went back to his place. I had a key, went to his bedroom, pulled back the sheets and spread a thick layer of the filth all over his bed and tucked it back in under the sheets. I spread the remainder around in the carpets, walls, shower curtains, in the vents, hard to get places. When I stepped outside and came back in, I was actually floored by how horrendous it was. I thought I had an insanely strong stomach, but I actually puked. I left that there for good measure and wrote him a note saying that, after he cleans this up, he won't have to smell me anymore, and left and blocked his number. Thankfully I never got sued, lol. In a small town the husband kept telling people he had an open marriage. Finally someone asked his wife about it. She was unaware of this new arrangement. That's also a kids in the hall skit. My wife and I are in an open relationship. I'm just trying to find the right time and place to tell her. I knew a guy years ago that was a private investigator. Many times he was approached by a spouse who suspected their partner was cheating. He had a slam dunk strategy. He would suggest his client sign up for a course, whether a hobby thing or educational. The key was that the class would happen for a period of weeks, all on the same day of the week and all at the same time of day. Then, while his client was in class, he would follow the spouse, caught them every time. My friend's mom was in a relationship with a guy four years and they ended up getting engaged and due to marry. The guy was a senior director of a company for which he traveled every week abroad for business. Eventually, the guy had a heart attack, and when my friend's mom turned up at the hospital, his wife and two kids were there also. Turned out he was already married with children and living a double life the whole time. When he went abroad for business, he was simply going back to his actual family. I honestly never understood how people can live those double lives. Hell, I'm exhausted just trying to keep up with my own life.
yet alone juggle to more. A friend caught her husband cheating, because he kept coming home smelling like ferrets, hard to play off, long day at work, and explain that. When she found out at a holiday party, that one of the young female co-workers owned ferrets, it all made sense. My ex-wife missed our last dance at our wedding reception, because she was sleeping with her cousins in the bridesmaid's changing room. A family friend's husband was having an affair for 20 plus years, and that woman knew the entire time about his family. He was at her ranch one time, and was bucked off a horse and broke his back. The affair partner called his wife to tell her, and acted like everything about this situation was normal, and the wife had no reason to act all upset at the affair. Some people really just have no shame. Guy lived and made a complete recovery, left his mistress, and they stayed together since they were working on their relationship. He died a few years ago, and the wife finds out. He never actually left his mistress just like. I know a guy whose wife was cheating with his cousin also married. He finds out, and decides to have everyone over for a supper. Halfway through supper, he looks his wife dead in the eyes and says, I know you two are sleeping, right in front of the affair partner, and his wife too. Everything blew up, and everyone got divorced. The affair partners never got together either. My dad cheated on my mom with a co-worker. She suspected him of an affair, but didn't know for sure until he didn't come home one night. I remember walking in the kitchen the next morning and asking my mom where he was. I was only 10 to 11 years old by the way, and she goes, he didn't come home last night. So she called him at work and he said he slept at a friend's. Because he had too much to drink, my mom called the friend's wife. She confirmed my dad was not there at all. And that's all my mom needed to know. It destroyed our family. My mom packed his junk and left it by the door. She got addicted to prescription pills afterwards and tried to kill herself. She only lived because I found her and called 911. After that she just left, took off, dumped me and my sister with my dad who were ill equipped to raise to almost teenagers. So he met this super bitch who was recently widowed. They got engaged and before I knew it I was living with her and I had six stepbrothers and sisters. Things only got worse from there. I enlisted to get away from it all. The whole thing messed me and my sister up pretty bad. The guy my ex was cheating on me with would serve me drinks when I would go and visit her at work. Girl said she was approved for some class in another really far city after her grades in college were too good. The boyfriend paid all her travel expenses and gave her his credit card for this trip to this specific event. When she arrives on the another city, she calls saying she won't come back and would live with this guy she met online and was chatting four months. Boyfriend went crazy to cancel the credit card he gave to her, found there was never any class and she was almost expelled from the college because her grades were terrible. She just traveled to meet the other guy and still made boyfriend pay all her expenses. This happened about 15 years ago. I lost contact with her, but I remember she married the other guy. Had everyone over for my birthday. Lots of drinks and laughs later. Most of my friends left and I told the remaining few they could either let themselves out or crash as I was going to bed. Woke up at 3 in the morning to get a drink of water and found my then boyfriend who lived with me and best friend of 10 years hooking up on my couch high school sweethearts and i went off to college different schools while i was visiting i was walking around the house to the front door window was open and i overhear her talking to another high school guy friend of mine that is in college with her about how she doesn't know how to tell me she cheated. He calls her with a friend of his and was forcing her to fess up before he did. So that broke us up needless to say. She begged me to forgive her. About three months later, I relented and had her visit me at my college. We went out that night. Food, drinks, and finally a house party. Before we were about to leave I went up to a friend's room to grab a bag of cannabis from him. Fifteen minutes later, I come down go out to the porch, look to the left, and there she is making out with some random guy we hadn't even met before. She literally met him two minutes after I went upstairs. She cried all night. I was crying laughing that she had so little self-control. I ended up having her sleep on the couch, and she went home before I woke up. Haven't spoken since. That was about 20 years ago. I used to go to a comic shop, and the comic shop owner knew all of the gossip in the area. Nice dude remembers all of his regulars 
and asks about you if he hasn't seen you in a while to check in on people. Lot of people in the area grew up with his shop, so he's got stories. Anyways, he told us about this story from some years back about this regular who disappeared for a few months. Comes back one day and the shop owner asks him, hey, man, haven't seen you in a while. Kind of like where have you been? The regular was like oh I've been getting divorced. I had to move, it was a whole thing. So naturally, the shop owner asks, why are you divorcing your wife? The regular caught his wife cheating. He had picked up a second part-time job as pizza deliveryman because he was trying to fund to take his wife on her dream vacation. All of the money he earned from that job was supposed to go into that vacation. He had been working this job for like six months. It was a whole secret. She didn't know he was doing that for her because he was trying to surprise her. He was the pizza deliveryman at the motel. She was cheating at him with. The dude she was cheating on him with answered the door with her right next to him. He apparently didn't even go back to the pizza place. He quit on the spot, went home, packed his junk and left town. Watch our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.